and we're back with more projects on Boy Trailer Trash. The truck's repaired and we're ready to head back into the town and try our luck again. I'm honestly not even sure what I want these mannequins for. <laughs> but I, I sort of decided I wanted them. And and these zombies have been thwarting me. Then I could check the rest of these cars for uh, cigarettes uh, and then steal their batteries and then we could definitely just go home. Window closed, window is closed. Pistol is equipped. Yeah, we have seen what a pain in the ass the trailer can be in even not exactly tight confines like this, but tight enough. Guy's gonna start banging that door again. Or summon any other zombies nearby. Damn it. It'd be so much better for us if they went for the window instead. Come at that shot from the back, maybe that would be better. I think it's uh, I think it's uh, like a dead end back here, so can't really drive the trailer into there now. Uh, that would be a real pain to get it out. Yeah. No, we do not want that. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we've got the police station as well. Okay, two o'clock, still early enough for us to uh, get into some mischief. He's got his door. He's got his door. Yeah, there could well be things upstairs as well. Uh, this is tired than I like. And you know what? We actually don't want the M14 in this sort of situation. zombie. Oh. I hate having to get close to these guys. They suddenly and turn around quite quickly. I guess we should quickly look for um leather pants. I don't think I've ever found uh, leather pants.
black leather trousers. And that's what I was looking for. I stared at it a couple of times and went, nope, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. That's why I sort of did that double take hang on and walk back there. Hope you weren't screaming at the screen, Dora the Explorer style. Okay, so we have two mannequins in our hands. Uh, we do have to try to stuff them somewhere. They're not going to fit in either of those spots, okay. Uh, do we want to go back to the two mannequins? Or are we happy with these two? Maybe we're happy with those. I would not recommend this. Ah. Okay. Well, we didn't quite get into the room we wanted, but I'm pretty sure he can never open that. Okay, we like 9 mil. stuff. Okay, you know what, I think, I think that'll do us. We might, we might steal a couple of batteries and then we might head home. We found some spray paint, we found a lot of solar panels, we found a, a book to let us grow marijuana I think, although I'm not sure if we have seeds or anything, I'm just misaligning to this. Um, we probably just got enough ammunition to actually replace most of the ammunition we used, so that's good. We found a chocolate cookie and a jelly donut. Uh, we still have that whole gigamart worth of food we could, we could rob. Yes, especially with sprinters, even this, what is now a very low population because of the murdering we've done here, it's enough that I'm not just going to wander blithely from house to house looking for carpets and things like that. It's that, that fear that that one of these things is going to come up behind you or three of them are quickly going to corner you. Uh, it's, it's, it works, mate. Going car to car, looking for some cigarettes and batteries. I doubt I've ever checked any of these. Not 
Stop carrying a lug wrench. Yeah, we've got a favourite these temporarily as we're going to be transfer alling things out of our inventory. So I did actually check, I, I loaded up a new game and I went and had a look that yeah, our base, uh, the devs have now changed it so it does come equipped with light bulbs and lights. Now unless I'm just the biggest idiot ever and have actually missed uh, them being incorporated into our base, uh, I assume that means ours is sort of uh, grandfathered in and uh, won't have those features. Uh, to that end, I, I really don't mind uh, just us debugging light bulbs again, just so people can see my base when I'm running around it. I, I'm sure it looks nicer to watch. Yeah, I think we'll even leave the tires there. Unless we find like 100%ers or something. Batteries and radios. Wow, we have done gangbusters with cigarettes. I've done entire raids to, um, to convenience stores and have not been this lucky with cigarettes. Uh, now again, if you want some light while doing this, you could always poke your point your car at yourself and and leave the headlights on. That would work pretty well. Or for a even more serious version, you could um, we could move the generator over here and we'll power up all these street lamps. Okay, so tomorrow. Uh, I guess I grab those other batteries, then maybe a bunch of food out of here. Um, yeah, we got some time before bed. Let's uh, let's decorate. Less than a hundred weight worth of stuff to go. Um, we might go scoop some shelves into our arms. So in theory it would probably be better off to leave a bunch of this stuff here uh, in case we want to... well I mean obviously we're using as a forward base and um, in case we want to go to Louisville and, and take these supplies there rather than you know, driving them across the map and then back. Um, given that we do have the truck uh, it's less of a concern for us. You know, obviously if you have a, a vehicle with like 200 total capacity, you've kind of got to care about how much food you, you carry around with you. Food or toys, that is. So, um, dried beans, I don't think are good, like adventuring food anyway. I mean, they're not ideal. So, we want to remember to turn the generator off. Check one more time before we drop down. Okay. Truck is full. Generator, okay, we do have three generators here. Yeah, so we can definitely leave that one there. Oh. 
Oh, let's take a look at the hood one more time. Okay, battery, the oh, engine is great. Gas tank's fine. Battery's fine. Tires could be inflated a bit, but they'll get us home. As will all the bodywork. I almost drove right into that tree. You know, like we, you know, you got to turn one way and you accidentally turn the other way. I do that a lot when going backwards in this thing, but not usually when just going forwards. Okay, so the trip home will be slower as as the truck is carrying a lot of stuff. Not this slow. This is just you driving cautiously. Okay, so that van we want to check out. And we want to uh, drop a generator off here. I was actually hoping to find like a big box of uh, spray cans in the in the factory or the storage facility we searched, but we did not. Though uh, those solar panels are amazing, literally more than I was hoping for. I'd have been happy with one or two. Now, I think we found four or five. That means, in theory, if we really wanted to, we could set up uh, battery banks at all four corners of our base and actually put, like, external lighting on the walls, all powered by solar. I should have closed that back door. Um, now, in theory, I guess all those batteries will be slowly running down, uh, not, not in charge, in, in condition. Yeah, so again, this road could have three times as many zombies on it. And, I mean, it actually would have had a lot more on this. Every time we come past, you know, we, we crush a couple of them. Uh, but it's it's already at the point where, yes, if we had to get out of the car, we're not standing and fighting. Not even with all of our guns and ammunition. Not even if our guns could never jam. calm for quite a while when there were zombies calm again although I guess that's the story of everything Let's see if we can get home before nine Let's see if we can get home without crashing into things I was about to put the radio on and see if I get some music but I forgot this is the apocalypse there is no music okay so this is not our stomping grounds, there's no real point in running guys over unless we have to. Uh, now again, I could be getting out and looting those bodies, but it's gonna get dark soon. We wanna go home. And I definitely don't have time to be clearing an area to my satisfaction to jump out and loot three or four bodies. Okay, so this should be the country club. We should have maybe five or six things on the road on this side, and then maybe one thing on the other side of the country club gate. And after that, uh, we will only have the unexpected between us and our base. And I'm still assuming there's at least one zombie in these five or six houses. Okay, everybody, I'm going to leave it here. Home again, safe and sound. We've got a trailer full of loot and a whole heap of new toys to play with. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. You have a great day.